and uh, during some, a fight, a battle with someone else, he eventually got defeated and killed. And uh, but he still has this justice sense within him, even even when he became a demon after he died. Uh, so as you can see, he's on this wheel with his fire, and he will punish anyone uh, with things on uh, with the fire. And uh, on the right, you can see there's a huge skeleton. And uh, his story was basically he was a soldier, also he was fighting on the battlefield, but uh, his uh, major concern was to uh, to see his loved ones and his family again. So after he died, his uh, wish actually made him this monster, and uh, he just across the mountains to come back from the grave and in his skeleton form and looking for his family. And uh, so, uh, after this, uh, when I had this inspiration, I started to really start the first step of my designing. Uh, so the first step of designing in fashion industry is to make a loop board, or as you can uh, see here, uh, we call it a concept board. So as you can see here, in the concept board, I have different kind of fabrics, and I have this traditional Japanese uh, wood printing, and the pictures of uh, the traditional Japanese festivals, and the people will wear this costume of kimono jacket and uh, parade on the street. But not only that, I also have some of the modern elements on the board, such as you can see a pair of jeans and the sweater, and also the modern Japanese street. So I'm th really thinking to combine uh, the two different elements together. Uh, once I have the direction of which, what my outfit on the, which direction my outfit is going to go, I started my design on my computer with the digital designs. So the first step you can see here, I started on um, Adobe Illustrator, and I have this first step. As you can see, it's more of a uh, Western fit of the outfit because of the trousers, uh, the turtleneck sweater, and also an overcoat. Uh, what I had in mind at first was to have this Western look, but with a combination of different uh, Asian fabric to have this twist to the outfit. Uh, and then I also created another two pieces which is the kimono jacket and also a baseball cap, as you can see here. Uh, the reason why I chose kimono jacket is because after uh, consideration, I decided the kimono jacket would be more fitting to the background of the story, of course, a summer night uh, in Japan. And uh, the baseball cap is very instrument, uh, it was a very interesting uh, element in the, in the design because it kind of brings up more of a modern war streetwear uh, into design instead of just traditional Japanese look. Uh, so I brought my designs to my mentor uh, Gary Osborne, and uh, uh, Gary Osborne, and he is a local designer. He does uh, children clothing, and uh, he was very helpful. I brought my designs to him and asked for his opinions, and uh, he suggested me to also use a kimono jacket, and uh, he also recommended me of uh, a to create my own fabric to apply to my uh, outfit. So, which uh, I did. So, uh, but I did. Uh, so, which I took uh, one of the elements of from my sketch and later developed into the elements you will see from the, um, on the outfit. But first, I, again, I started to design one of the symbols and the first piece of my outfit, which is the hat. Uh, I basically found a website that would customize my designs. I of course used the. To keep the moon as one of the logos or the elements on the hat. And as you can see, I basically just put uh, the Japanese writings and the pronunciation of the Japanese word moon and also the English translation of the moon on the hat. And uh, two weeks after it got here, and uh, it looks exactly how I want it to be, and, uh, which is a very good start. So, next step, I have the pair of jeans. And uh, to Originally, I designed a pair of trousers, but to, after that, I thought maybe I should more bring that to a more younger and uh, more modern kind of fit. So I chose a pair of jeans. I just bought a pair of uh, simple Levi's jeans, and then I all on the sketch of, as I mentioned before, the huge skeleton. And I printed the, uh, as, uh, on the jeans and, uh, uh, to, to show the elements of really what uh, the next grade of 100 demon is. Uh, next, I have the shoes. Uh, for the shoes, I also didn't really to go in and make the shoes. I also bought the uh, shoes, and uh, I initially had all four designs of how the colors can go, but I decided to really paint the each of the shoes into different colors to have this compare and contrast. Uh, 
Uh, the red ones you can see here with the ghost fire down the slash on them is inspired by uh, Japanese or Chinese New Year. Uh, it also brings out the character of the, the personality of the character, which is very brave and have just so in him. And the uh, uh, black, sh black one is to uh, show, to present the theme of the setting where it will be, which is a uh, summer night. And uh, the black color also shows the sails of the warrior who is crossing the river. And then it came to the sweater. Uh, <coughs> uh, the sweater is very interesting because I designed the sweater just online with the form, and then I'll you again use the picture of the red moon, and also with the tsuki, the moon, and uh, the Japanese writing, which literally translated in English will be water wheel, is more of a poetic uh, description of the moon in Japanese. Uh, in a sense, uh, the design, I, uh, I contacted some of the uh, sweater netters on Etsy, actually, and uh, she's from Oak area, and uh, she was very glad to help me, so I sent her the designs, all the measurements, all the things I need to uh, be on the sweater and mentions everything, and uh, she uh, she said, well, yeah, it will take a long time, but eventually I got a sweater after a month, and uh, it looks just very great. Uh, so exactly how I want it to be, which I was really glad. Of. And uh, that is also one of the definitely centerpiece of my object. As I said before, I developed the uh, element of the fire wheel, this demon, into a digital form. I colored it, and then I. Uh, basically bring it to a repeat pattern and also with the background color so it would have a um, this, uh, what I have in mind is to bring this design to the digital fabric printing studio and to have them uh, make the fabric so I can apply that eventually to my kingdom of jacket and uh, which I did and I, uh, I also at the same time contact those studios uh, in the city to actually make my clothes since I don't have any sewing skills or experiences, uh, so I decided that maybe tailor will be the best way, a professional tailor will be the best way to actually bring my designs to real life. Uh, and that's what I did, uh, and I decided to also, at the same day, to visit one of the, a few of the fabric stores in New York City in uh, Garment District. And, uh, and here's the video you can see, I basically made a vlog of how my, my friends and I go to the city and uh, the fabric printing skill do and also the uh, fabric stores.
the fact that it came out with uh, very exact how I want it to be, and uh, I really like the element and also how the image really presents on the texture of fabric. And, uh, uh, but one of the thing is the studios in the city uh, to actually make my clothes uh, due to the lack of their time, they wasn't able to make my clothes. So, but thanks for the help with my in-school mentor, Ms. Beth Weston. I, she recommended me to a local tailor in Nanuet, which uh, they eventually made the kimono jacket for me in time. And yeah, and that's the, that's the tailor shop in Nanuet. And uh, they're actually, it's called Twins Brothers and they're actually twins. <laughs> Uh, and uh, for the accessory, as you can see here, the belt work was, as you would just call it, a rope. Uh, it's very inspired by the Japanese uh, rope, it's called sh uh, Shimen Nama, Nawa. And uh, this rope you, can, you will usually see it hanging on the gate of the temple, or uh, really anywhere around the street or on the rocks. Uh, the purpose of the rope in Japanese culture is to, uh, to purify the evil spirits and uh, to bring a piece to the place where it's hanging. So I thought that would fit the theme of uh, this strong character across the hundred of demons. And uh, I chose that as the belt of the outfit. And uh, last but not least, I just want to give thank you to uh, other people who have been supporting me, especially my uh, mentor, Gary Osborne. Unfortunately, he's not able to make it here today, but without his help, I really couldn't start anything. He really taught me to start from nothing to something and start to design and develop all my thoughts and inspirations I had. And uh, I want to thank uh, my school mentor, Ms. Beth Weston. She gave me many suggestions and, of course, to bring me to the tailor shop and to have my piece actually made. And uh, I want to thank my host family, the Davises family. Uh, they've been close to me since uh, 10th grade and it's been, they've been really supportive uh, through the three years and uh, just really been uh, uh, glad to help me with whatever I need. And of course I need to uh, thank my model, Matthew Olsen, without his performance, uh, my presentation wouldn't uh, be complete. And uh, last, I just want to thank all my classmates. Uh, it's been great spending almost four years with you here uh, in during high school. And uh, but with all you guys, I don't even know what, uh, what kind of person I'm going to uh, develop into, but thank you so much for all the friendships and all the supportive uh, actions. Because uh, uh, initially I wanted to have something, of course it's a kimono jacket, but I don't want it to have a very traditional Japanese look. So I thought I used this outside fabric, which is a uh, waxed black canvas, and I thought to, it's a very stiff material. So I thought to working, uh, of course, it's just into, as I mentioned before, um, uh, more of a western kind of fabric with uh, the traditional fabric of Japanese elements. Uh, yes. When will like all the pieces to the outfit be done? Uh, just, they're pretty much done now. Uh, you see the sweater here, and of course the jacket, the hat, and the shoe strings. Uh, yeah. This, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing is, yeah. Um, there's a lot of people who are like in the audience. Uh, do you think that you're going to continue with this project because it seems like such a rich story the Night of a Hunting Demon? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll continue it, uh, but just as a personal interest. <laughs> Because fashion has always been something 
up very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, of course, it's a very rich thing, and uh, I was definitely happy as well. Just as much as my interest, but not as well. It's a real point for me to participate during maybe my high uh, my college career. Last question. Last question. Yes. yes. Uh, there will be some words similar, as I said, of course, all the all my inspirations were from the story book I was reading as a young child. And uh, so maybe uh, I would follow more of the outfit from maybe different pieces. Uh, maybe the overcoat I actually designed as you saw earlier, or maybe for childhood, so I would really uh, have them made with a special fabric, but different, different characters.